a tough team to play against. They, uh, they come to play every week. Um, we're certainly not taking it lightly. So uh, we've come, come here to play. We're looking forward to it on the G. So um, boys are pumped and we're ready to go. Obviously a great achievement for, for Shep. 100 games is pretty big. Uh, we played a bit of junior footy together and good mates. So stoked to see him uh, get some milestone. And yeah, 50 for me is a nice little achievement. So that's part of the journey. So Carlton kicking to the scoreboard end here at the MCG. Almost a cloudless sky above. White bombs away. Oh, that's a good sign, mate. So Terry McGowan Hill has that last kick inside 50. Yes! <laughs> this time, Kennedy takes the mark. He's breathing heavily after taking the mark. Kennedy's got the breath back now. And the kick is bullet like straight through the middle. It's interesting, Carlton's clearest winners. Uh, the two Ruckman. Phillips won that. But again, unable to take it away. There's a snap that it's finally broken the drought. The Eagles are being challenged in this third quarter. Lacra goes long, up towards a half forward. Kennedy was a target, but he wasn't in the pack. It may come to Yo. It does come to Yo. And Yo kicks the steadying goal. And the Eagles have got numbers in there, a gathering storm through the middle now. Man overboard is Luke Shuey. Dockerty will pursue, but you would think in vain, and Shuey runs through another. Oh, look, we're happy. We're happy. We've got to win. Um, we probably thought we had a fair bit of play there for a while and didn't, didn't capitalise with some shots on goals. To Carlton's credit, they never went away. Uh, and they increased their attack in the last quarter, and we didn't handle it very well. So we've got some learning to do, but we'll take the win. And there is the siren. They tried valiantly, but they just couldn't cut the margin in the end. They certainly brought some fantastic pressure and forced us into a lot of mistakes that um, you know, we hope we, we don't make too often, but um, and they certainly outplayed us for, for a lot of the day. Yeah, you can't take anyone lightly these, these days, I don't think. Um, every team's going to play good footy at some stage, and um, at the end of the day, we probably played enough good footy to get us over the line, but uh, we got something some for us to look at. And, um, we're still building, we've still got to tweak a few things to get to that, get that perfect game in that four quarters what we want. The top nine or ten is so tight, um, you know, we're, we're still a couple of games from, from slipping outside the eight. We lose a couple, so we've we just got to keep our momentum rolling, keep putting the wins together and see where we end up at the end of the home and away season. I think this time of year, all the coaches will tell you, it's just, just knock over the wins, you know, and you've got work to do. We're not elite, we're not the top couple in the comp in terms of form. But if we can keep, keep ticking over the wins, qualify for finals, and then have a good crack at us finishing as high as we can, that's our focus. But we're, we're realists. We're not assuming that we're you know, playing to the form of a, a top two, top four side at the moment. Ready?